and stabbed his father just to be amusing. No. I'm saying that the boy might have lost the lamb, and that someone else had the father with a similar knife. And that's possible. Take a look at that knife. I've never seen one like it. Neither had the storekeeper sold it to him. Aren't you asking us to accept a pretty incredible coincidence? I'm not asking anyone to accept it. I'm just saying that it's possible. I'm saying it's not possible. great day for all of us here. My congratulations especially to the whole St. Michael's uh, College School community. We've worked, all of us, very hard for so long to make this day a reality. We're all very pleased today to be here celebrating it together. Once again, my congratulations to St. Michael's. Congratulations, St. Michael's, on your beautiful new theater and many, many more years of fine productions, I'm sure, will come of it. What does the opening of this theater mean to me? Well, in a word, it, it's envy uh, because the experience I had from 1986 through 1990 um, was amazing. Lots of fun. St. Mike's Auditorium uh, where we shared the ground with the basketball team and pep rallies and everything else and it was great but the facility they have built here is extraordinary and to have a chance to be up there on stage tonight and singing one of my old songs with my friend Kevin Janis is, uh, is pretty terrific. Spectacular evening, spectacular facility. Congratulations, St. Michael's, for the Center for the Arts. Our next performer is no stranger to the Toronto State. Monica Walsh played the lead role of Christine in The Phantom of the Opera and was also a guest artist in St. Michael's first gala at the George Weston Recital Hall in 1998. Here she is singing, Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again, from Phantom of the Opera. I think this is just like the traditions of St. Mike's. Dreams do become reality, and tonight the fruition of that dream has come true. And Father Joe, you did a great job. The team did a great job, and what a fantastic show they put on tonight.
And I just want to congratulate everybody involved at St. Michael's College School for the extraordinary performing arts center that is now before us. I'd like to congratulate all of those involved in the uh, completion of this uh, dream of the uh, Center for the Performing Arts. Our next guest starred on St. Michael's stage in the 70s and 80s. Sally Height played the role of Maria in the style of music before launching a very successful professional career. And then Brian Sally will be joined by Charlene Santoni, Monica Walsh, whom you've just heard, and Jennifer Sullivan, who form what we call the St. Mike's Four Sopranos. Well, I, I could probably be quoted a few times by saying that the kids don't realize what they've got. It's, uh, this is a state-of-the-art theater, and um, after a theater like this, it's, it's very hard to compete in another place. I mean, in schools, we're usually putting things on in the cafetorium. Congratulations for the Center of the Arts. This evening was an outstanding evening. Unbelievable performances. What impressed me most was the quality of the acoustics. So the St. Michael's community is really going to benefit from this Center for the Arts. And it was great to see so much talent here this evening. and um, even more excited for the kids that are going to get to um, enjoy this exciting state-of-the-art facility for years to come and uh, all the best to the kids and to the teaching staff. This is a spectacular evening here at the Center for the Arts. St. Michael's College School is an incredible school with an arts program that is second to none and it is a delight to see this beautiful new theatre acknowledge all the amazing students that go here and all of the talent of the, of the students and of the teachers and faculty who put so much effort into it. So congratulations once again, a delightful evening. incredibly happy with the facility and everything that's been going on here tonight. The performances were amazing. St. Michael's College, congratulations on the Center for the Arts.
direct from their global engagements, we present St. Mike's Own, Brian McKay, Jason Cannon, Johnny Conan, and Dave Trafford, our own Jersey Boys! Walked in here about two months before it actually opened and it wasn't finished and I just thought, oh, if we had only had this when I was here. The theater brings all of this history together, but it also sort of looks more. I'm thrilled to see this incredible edifice, this huge, wondrous addition to the life of the school. I can't imagine the future it's going to have. We're very proud of the theatre. It is meant to be a place where students can learn all of the aspects of theatre, not only performance but also a production, the lighting, sound and everything else. So it's been designed as a, a very student-friendly space and, uh, and as a showcase for the school as well. Thank you to all who have made this dream a reality. We're very, very pleased at how the concert went off, and we, I, I absolutely love the facility. What an epic, epic night and epic venue to, uh, to celebrate the arts. Whenever 